Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to edit on the fly using your pen, pen tool. Now, we have to do a couple things to prepare, and I want to make sure you open up my file first. This is called editonthefly.ai, and it has an original path layer that's been locked, and then there's another layer called your path above it. That's because I want you to mimic this particular path. Now, the way you're going to do this is by using a special situation. The main thing we have to do is make sure that our view and smart guides is off because if smart guides is on that's going to ruin us. So make sure if it's on, turn it off. Then after that we're going to do a, another thing where we're going to tap the direct selection tool, the white arrow first, and then we're going to go into the pen tool. Now the reason why we want to do this is because we want to make sure that the command key we put on the keyboard turns back into the direct selection tool and what it does is it turns into the last tool used so we want to make sure that the last tool we were on was the direct selection tool so make sure you click the direct selection tool then re-click the pen tool now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag down a first point here by the original uh, path line and I'm hold down shift so it goes straight and notice I don't have a fill on it if you have a fill make sure that's off now I'm going to go to the right of it and try and create a curve. You're like, okay, I've already seen this. We created this earlier. But I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't do that quite right. It didn't line up exactly. So what I want to do is hold down the uh, control key on the keyboard, and it temporarily turns my pen tool into the white direct selection tool, the previous tool I chose. And I can move that into position. Then I can let go, and I continue continue drawing. Now, this isn't just for the last one. You can hold on control and you can adjust any of the features. I can go back to any point and I can make the curve change. I can grab the handles just as if I was using the direct selection tool, but I never actually switch back to it. I simply work with what I have. And then when you're done, you just continue on. And you see it'll just continue on from where we last were. So, even if I have something completely wrong like in this situation, I can hold on control move the path where I want, rotate that smooth curve, tuck in the corner, and make it make the right curve that I wanted to do. Then I can continue on with my path as if I didn't miss a beat. Now your goal here is not to just make it another copy of this because honestly that's not the big deal. It's learning to first click the direct selection tool before working with the pen and then holding down control as you're working to adjust your path on the fly. That's the thing we're trying to fix. When you're done, so that you don't just keep drawing around, I'm going to undo those, you want to make sure you hit P to complete your path and then you can draw another one if you want it. So what I want you to do is see if you can come down and create a whole bunch of copies of this path in a row and the more you edit it, and get good at editing on the fly, the better you will be on your particular path tool. So make about three or four more copies of it and we'll call it a day. 